Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting The Wild at Heart. This is a neat little indie game that I've had my eye on for quite a bit that seems like it's Pikmin inspired. Like, you have these little creatures and you go around and like find treasure as far as I understand, battle enemies and, you know, build bridges and pathways and stuff to open shortcuts in the environment. It seems really cool, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's go ahead and hop in. New game. Start game. But yeah, that's basically all I know about it. Um, but here's hoping it's really good, because I would love an indie take on Pikmin. Mm-hmm. Darkness enveloping me, all that I see. Also, the art style is great. Wake. 15 hours. 1500 hours, it's time. Okay, your name is Wake. Okay, I thought you were saying wake, like wake up. Okay, Wake, you're prepared for this. Time to enact the plan. Just need to gather my supplies from around the room. Wow, we got a Super Nintendo? All in a blockbuster thing? Wow, look at the blockbuster thing. Um, okay, so the vamp kids. My TV. Wow, visually this is very pretty so far. Okay, so I move with Waz. I thought it was a point and click. So there we go. Now the more you know. Kirby and I had some pretty epic kart races around this TV. Too big to take with us though. Wait, are we running away from home? Oh god, the God, this this reeks of childhood here. Look at this. Except this was well, I had a Super Nintendo, but this was an N64 for me. With all the cartridges around the TV. And two controllers sitting there. Oh god. Childhood. Plans. A stack of papers containing various sketches and blueprints, including something entitled Experiment Codename Zool. Might as well bring one of those other blueprints too. Wouldn't want them falling into the wrong hands. Alright, do we want to grab our hoodie? Well, no, we got our jean jacket. Who needs a hoodie? Don't worry, little dudes. Someone will take care of you when I'm gone. Gaming system. Hop into your favorite games with the Game Bun Entertainment System. Wow, that looks kind of horrible to play. The buttons are on top? I guess it can make sense. I guess. I could go anywhere without my games. Priorities. Yeah. You want some blockos? Wish I could take some blockos with me. Some of my best ideas started out with these guys. Alright, we need got the map. Makeshift map. A map of the woods behind Wake's house. Perfect for escaping into them. Definitely the scale. A very detailed map of the forest, complete with landmarks. I'd be super lost without this. Okay, I've got everything from down here. Time to head upstairs. Oh my god, I love that your bed is under the stairs. That's so cool. That's so cool. I always wanted a bed like this that's like under the stairs. Um, a bed that's like right by the window with like a reading nook. Or just bunk beds in general. Guess there won't be any many comfy beds in my immediate future. God, visually, this is very pretty so far. I'm not sure of what the art style reminds me of. Steven Universe, maybe? Although I have a very not detailed opinion of Steven Universe because I've never seen it. I just know of it. He's gone. Good. I made some field rations this morning before he left. I just need to grab them. Oh no, I noticed a lot of beer. Is your dad, like, an alcoholic? I'm guessing it's your dad. You said he. Flush that toilet. Okay. Wake's room, keep out, do not enter. I also had a room in the basement. It was amazing. It was always nice and cool. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be our currency, I guess. Chomps Cheesy Chippers. Delicious, crunchy goodness. Guaranteed cheese fingers after every bag. Ooh, a bag of chomps. We gotta hit these in here. I'll bring them along. Might be handy in a pinch. Okay, so we got 30 nuts and bolts, I guess. Don't remind me of that Magic Kazooie game, please. I would appreciate it. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Pizza trap. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I was supposed to wash these. Oh, well. No time now. Yeah, who cares? Rations. All the sustenances, sustenance needed for an extended secret mission. Homemade PB&J. God, peanut butter and jelly is so good. Can't go wrong with these PB&J. These should last a while. 
one thing left to do, I guess. I'm leaving. Not that you care. Don't come looking for me. Wake. Whatever. He probably won't read it anyways. Time to go. But what's down here? Like hell am I going in there? What about here? I need to go out the back. Easiest way to the woods. Does this say the same thing? Okay, there's no prompt there. Alright, I think I examined everything. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it seems like maybe our father is an alcoholic, maybe? Whoa, look at the crazy jetpack! I think. Or it's like a Ghostbusters thing? I don't know. Kick. Okay. I'm not totally sure why. I kicked it a bunch and nothing happened. Oh, these have something in them, though. Oh, okay, I was kicking the box, but the box was not what we needed to kick. Okay, well, I got a bunch of money for that. Neat. Anything in here? Can I kick that? Okay, so we can just kick everything, it seems. We probably only want to kick stuff that, um... glows, though. If I had to guess. But we can kick everything if we would like. Well, let's kick the trash bags. Little HP bar. It reminds me of, uh, Super Mario 64. Wait, what? Pick up. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying kick. You got the Gust Buster. Wake's self-constructed vacuum. Useful for sucking up all things. Oh, no! I thought this was Pikmin. It's actually Luigi's Mansion. Wow, is it mixing, like, two of my favorite Nintendo IPs together? Because... Boy, would that rank this game high on my list of favorite things. That would be awesome. Because what what I got from the store page was like... You know, kind of like Pikmin. Ooh. Backyard key. The rusty old key for the back gate. It's a wonder this thing has never been permanently misplaced. Okay. Uh, examine? Right, the day I lost my shadow. I refuse to let Dad take it down. I miss you, little dude. Oh. Alright, well, let's open up. Use key? Yeah. Well, Kirby and I have planned this for months. She'll know what to do. I just hope she'll be able to make it out okay. Time to get the heck out of here. So who's Kirby? I'm guessing it's like a friend of yours? Or maybe like your... Brother or sister or something? Mm hmm It's a very pretty woods. I guess that's another thing this sort of reminds me of. Don't starve. What with the camera angle and everything. Okay, spooky sound, so you're freaking out. I get it. Operation with Humble Games. Humble publishes a lot of really good stuff. Damn, maybe should have grabbed like a rain jacket or coat or something if you have one. The Wild at Heart. Well, I'm very impressed by the intro so far. Ooh, stuff. Oh no, you're crying. Great, I'm lost. How's Kirby gonna find me now? You got a Pizza Planet hat? Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hi. Whoa, what are you? Hey, wait! I do believe that's our Pikmin. Not sure what they're going to be called in this game, but, uh... Oh, if I, if I do this, what happens? Ah! It's like a little secret. A little windmill. They kind of seem like Koroks, too. Man, now that makes me want a game that's like Pikmin, except you use Koroks from Legend of Zelda. Uh, gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, yeah! Big money. Any more? I don't see any more. We're at 172 of those things. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for. I imagine it's a currency of some sort, but maybe it's upgrades or something? Hey. Well, 
What's with this weird old gate? And yeah, we pull this to do it. Sounds like one of my cats are trying to open a cabinet in the kitchen. The little idiots. You guys got like a million toys, what are you doing? I don't know what their obsession is with getting in the cabinets, but all they ever do is get in there and then drag everything out. So I'm like, no, you're not allowed. If you got in there and were just good, I wouldn't care, but no, they're bad. Alright, so... Made it across that, I want to get up there. But, uh, I don't see a way to... Maybe this away? Ooh, bunch more nuts and bolts. This feels very good so far. I like how dense it is with like little puzzles and hidden things to find. That's always very fun to me in games. No! I can't get those. Oh no! Damn it. Oh well. I'm sure we'll have more than enough. Right? It's usually how these games are designed. Oh, and that was that was integral anyway because there's a thingy up there. Bop, 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 bop. Me all the money. Okay, so those are little signs to let you know that you can hop down from those locations. Gotcha. Hello, little guy. Again? Yeah. This is so cool. I like this so much so far. Ooh. Whoa, look at that tree. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I'm going in? Hope that little dude isn't just me getting me more lost. Here goes nothing. Man, your, your clothes have to be soaked, right? What is, ow, did you just break your neck? What, are you good? Yup. Okay, well that was, uh, the wild at heart- oh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, we're good. Ugh. What a fall. Yeah, it sounded pretty bad. Now where am I? Old weirdo. So she let you in after all. Interesting. She was debating for quite some time. Alright. Who are you? A folk call me Greycoat. You have entered the deep woods. You are allowed here, probably. Greycoat? That's your name? I think so. Okay, but your coat is more of like a greenish brown. This is a different coat. And you are? <laughs> Wake. <laughs> You'd think they'd call you Greycoat if that's like what you've always wore, but... Wake. Hmm. Wake. What an oddly pleasant name, probably. Oh, hello again. There you are, Brussel. You know how you know good and well that you're not supposed to leave the deep woods. Not every day that a sprightling befriends an outsider. And you can even see him as a feat in itself, probably. Huh, now this sounds harvest moony. Because uh, the whole thing in those games is that only one person can see, like, the harvest sprites or whatever. You're a strangely small and unwrinkled old man, are you? Are you ill? You should tell me if you are. What? I'm not an old man. Yeah, hey, look at my SNES controller. Okay, you know what? Maybe that's not the best thing to make you believe I'm not an old man. Hmm? Russell tells me they found you crying. Why? No, no it wasn't. So, so what? It's rude to sneak up on people. What even is that creature? Whoa there, unwrinkled one. There'll be time for questions later, probably. I must hasten to my people. There is much stuff to be done. Besides, the dark will be coming soon. And what is it that we always say about the dark, hmm? Who's we? I just met you. Incorrect. We say, the dark is bad. The dark is bad. Good. Okay, let that be your first lesson. First lesson? Take this. It's an item most essential to the people of my order. Behold, I give you shiny rock. Cool. A fragment of a fallen star. Shiny rock can create projections of those who carry pieces from the same star. To talk to your green show companion. Oh, it's like a walkie-talkie. Okay. It's a crystal? 
Hmm, I don't know. They call it shiny rock. Shiny rock will guide you, probably. Guide me where? Wait. Nature! Ooh! Take me to the, um, the place. The, uh, foliage. The grove, that's it. Ha, I almost forgot what our village was called. That would have been embarrassing. Bye-bye. Whoa, he teleported. I must be dreaming. Kirby's never gonna believe this. If we can find Kirby. The undergrowth. Okay, R. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use that to communicate with people, basically. Maybe that's a hint system? Of sorts? Possibly? Maybe? Can I pick up this lantern? Okay, I guess we don't need it. I, I would think maybe we'd take it just in case. Alright, but we climbed the vines. Oh, hey, there's something in there. Wake, wake, can you hear me? Oh, no, you're Navi! Slash the amulet from Wind Waker. Hey! Huh? The crystal's talking. Oh, oh, wait. Greyco, is that you? How are you doing this? Shiny Rock allows communication between all wares. Does it always feel this weird? You'll eventually get used to the side effects of the mind link, probably. Wait, there's a fellow of mine up ahead, a member of our order. His name's Scrappy. Scrap Heap. Your friend's name is Scrap Heap. Indeed, he'll help you, probably. And though traversing the undergrowth may seem daunting, the Spritelings are often keen to help. Spritelings? You mean the little yellow guys? Quite so. They are denizens of this world, and dare I say, part of the deep woods itself. Use them for guidance. They'll know what to do. With your device and their aid, you should be able to make it to the Scrap, to the scrap Heap, right? How do I contact you on this thing? Ah, yes, well, I usually just picture the person in my head and then loudly scream their name into the crystal. That seems to work some of the time. Okay. No time to waste. Onward. What a weirdo. <laughs> but I like him. Uh, suck up some leaves. Oh, hey, we got ourselves our first Pikmin. Oh, hey there. How are you gonna leaf pile, huh? Cool, cool. Well, you're welcome to join me. That gray coat guide said you might be able to help me get out of here. Oh, this is cool. You got Wigglings. These curious little creatures can pick up resources, break down walls, attack enemies, and much more. All they need is a little direction. Just throw them near a designated target and they'll get going. Twigglings are fast workers and immune to toxic gas. It's also rumored they can make things grow, but no one's seen it done in quite a long time. I hope I can get reminded of all of these things that they do, because that's a lot to remember. Uh, They're fast. Immune to toxic gas and can make things grow. Remember that. You know what? You know what? Do I have a pin? Do I have a pin? I don't have a pin. Damn it. What happened to my pin? All right, I wrote it down. Twigglings are fast workers, immune to toxic gas, and it's rumored they can make things grow. Cool. Now what? All right, so... Is it that? Okay, there's a charge. I thought it would just go where my, uh... Where my cursor was, but no, we actually have to... Well, you kind of aim it with your cursor, but it seems like you also gotta... Oh, no, there's a limit. That's the problem. Okay. Yep, feels very Pikmin so far. Oh, hey. Uh, help me out, little dude. Okay, never mind. Don't help me out. Be that way. Uh-huh. And we don't have a whistle, but it seems like my... My vacuum? Got them to, uh, come back to me. Open. Well, this seems very cool. I'm happy I wasn't wrong about the whole Pikmin thing. So I was a bit worried there for a second. We're getting all kinds of stuff. It, it This game has a lot going on, though. It's very cool so far. Uh, hi. Oh, that's a save point. There's our save point. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that in a second. We still got a... This would be too short of a video right now. Okay, you know what? D to, to find out, d do you guys destroy bags? You do? Okay. Okay. Because it didn't work the last time, and I didn't want to get the idea in my head that it didn't work. Because then I might just never do it all game, and people would be like, What are you doing? Oh, hey, that's... something. I wonder what we can spend this currency on. What? Wake, Scrap Heap should just be beyond that huge boulder. Great. Uh, Twiglings must have moved it. Well, they can move it back. 
You can direct your spritelings to move heavy objects, but you'll need a fair few of them to do it. Explore the undergrowth and gather more spritelings. Will do. Um, God, you're really slow at destroying that. Work with me, little dude. There we go. Suck it all up. Alright, what's over here? Just... More of that. I should probably not get in that poison gas, right? Because I do notice we have health. We have a health bar. Uh, so I can get damaged by things. Um... Bop. Come on, little dude. There you go, destroy all those things for me. I'll kick this while you're doing that. Doesn't seem like we have a, uh, like, limited time mechanic, at least yet. So I guess I don't have to worry about doing things super efficiently, I just gotta actually get through the levels. Hello. I wonder if anything lives in these pools. Hello in there, anyone home? Nothing. Alright, so nothing lives in the pools, got it. Yeah, god, aesthetically this is so pretty. I really, really like the art style. Just, I don't know. I don't even know what it reminds me of, it's just pleasing. Can you guys break that? I don't know. We need, we need rock, rocklings to do that. I'm guessing. That is a mushroom with a spear. I don't know, don't hit them. Can you guys not die, I wonder? Huh. Wait, what is that? That, like, XP? For my twiglings? That would be so cool! Can my twiglings level up? That would be awesome! Oh, I would love that! That would be super awesome. Unfortunately, we don't have the same thing in Pikmin where when I- if I throw them on your head, um, it does, like, extra damage or stuns you or whatever. Okay, so since it seems like they can't die, maybe this is more like Poonies from a Thousand Year Door? Because Poonies couldn't die, they could just get knocked out. Uh, if you guys can't die, then you're pretty busted against all the other things in this, uh, area. I gotta say, as I kick this thing to death instead of getting you guys to destroy it. I wonder if there's a command I can give to just have them charge the thing right in front of me like you can do in Pikmin. Uh, ooh. Okay, that I do need your help with. Um, but yeah, they, they're pretty, uh, they're probably a pretty OP creature in this environment if they just don't take damage. Things try to fight them and they're just like, no, nah, we don't care. Hit us all you like. Doesn't hurt us. Not one bit. Alright, so... and then we're back over here. Okay, so... I didn't miss anything, right? We can move that big boulder now? We still can't do anything about this, which I would like to. Do I have, like, a map of some sort? Ooh, I do. Oh, I do. Um, okay, the crystals are listed there. Cool. So, I'll have to keep that in mind for later, because I'm going to want to come back and destroy those crystals, I'm sure. Alright, let's progress a little bit more. And we'll save in just a second. For now, boom, boom, boom. Whoa, good job! Ah, this is so cool. Oh wait, that log! I wonder if I could have thrown twiglings into the log. You know, no, we gotta check. We gotta check! Can I throw twiglings into the log? Is that a thing that can happen? I don't know, it, it looked like something that, that was a thing. I don't- I don't know, man. Alright. I thought they could go in there and then they'd come back out with items or something. Cause it looked like something you could enter. Is this... more garbage? That we can destroy? What happens if I throw you guys at it? Nothing. Okay, but can we do this? Maybe we need to upgrade our vacuum before we can do that. Maybe that's like heavier trash, so we can't destroy it yet? Let's see if it appears on the map. It does not. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. There's another save point right down there. I guess I could just work towards that, depending on how long it takes. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. Break it, boys. Yeah. 
I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I've been playing this game for 20 minutes and I'm rich. Get them, boys. <laughs> it is crazy that they can't die. They're just like invincible objects of destruction, or creatures of destruction, not objects. Sorry I called you guys objects. Uh, can you guys like bring that down to me? Oh, or you can just smack it open, that works too. Ah, oh, but you knocked some of the things down there. How could you? The Heartland's in the Grove. Okay. Um... Oh. Okay, maybe not. Can... Okay. That, I don't think that's gonna work. I thought that was what we had to do. What am I missing, then? Can we just fall? Oh, right there. I missed that. Totally missed that. Okay, well, cool. We're by another fireplace. So that's uh, fortuitous. Uh, I should probably do that. Huh? I should probably get that. But there's so many things to look at. Loose parts. An assorted mix of nails, nuts, bolts, and scrap metal. These simple but versatile materials should be very useful for crafting stuff and repairing structures. Okay. Got a crafting system, too. Stop right there. Huh? Oh, hi. Tea kettle weirdo. Get away from my trove of riches. How, c how came you upon this hollowed metal of tiny, unwrinkled old man? Not an old man, I'm 12. Ah, oh, 12 is a number. Numbers can't be people. Nice try. I'm trying to find someone. Uh, scrap heap? Hmm? A man named Greycoat gave me this crystal, and these little yellow guys helped me move this big rock, and... Crystal, you say? Oh, it is true, then. Greycoat said that he found a potential new recruit. New recruit? To what? I am Scrappy, master builder and tinkerer for the Green Shield Order of these Deep Woods. Oh, I'm Wake. I'm something of a builder myself. Wake, you say? That doesn't sound like it should be a name. How intriguing. You know where I can find Greycoat? Indeed, however... However? Hmm? Yes. Yes, safe. At the camp, indeed. Who are you talking to? Is that Greycoat? Russell said that. Huh, how droll. Yes, yes. Tomorrow would be best. I agree. Ha. Ahem. Apprentice. Apprentice? The day's light fails. We will not make it to the next camp in time. We must stay here through the night. Rest now, if you can. I'll keep a watch most vigilant. Okay. Did that just say Teen Turtles? Teen Turts. Why do you not rest? Is there something on your mind? What's a green shield? Why our order, of course. Protectors and stewards of these deep woods. We protect the various creatures that dwell here, as well as mend the border to your world as needed. But you can use, like, magic and stuff? Why, of course, can't you? Not that I know of. Hmm, I wager you're more capable than you think. But of course, as with all skills, some individuals are quite more adept than others. Greycoat, for example, is likely the most capable among us. Though he's never quite been the same since he lost that other coat. Why do you not rest, Scrappy? Hmm, what's your, you know, real name? Scrappy is my name. No, I mean, what was your name when you were born, that your mother gave you? Never had another name that I can recall. I've always been Scrappy. Huh. Okay, and Greycoat? Always been Greycoat, as with all the others. The others? Why do you not rest? Nothing. Rest now, Apprentice. We rise at dawn. There's much to do. Say, what is it now? You want a PB&J? I could really go for a snack. PB and... Come here, get in on this. I'm starving. Look at us, we're so nice. Ooh, a jelly confection. Well, this is very cool so far. God, I, I didn't expect to be as into this as I am, but boy am I into this. It feels really good to play, the design's everything, the writing's great. The design's great, the design is everything, is what I said. The design is fantastic. Huh? What is this place? Oh man, I should have saved. I should have saved. We still gotta render this episode and get it up today. I should have saved. Wait, did the game just save right there? Might have saved. Uh, we'll do a manual. 
Just to make sure, even if I gotta go a little bit longer. <clears throat> oh boy. Wake. Dad? Yeah, I think that's a save signal symbol down there. But we want to do manuals if we can. If the game allows us, because that's easier and better for recording in case I screw up. Good morning, Master Wake. How was your slumber? Bad dreams. I had some weird dreams. Worry not, we all have them here. Dreams of strange things of ourselves leading odd and confounding lives. You become used to them eventually. Oh, and I must beg your pardon. I couldn't help but notice your device. Yeah, it's my newest invention. What do you think? I think you're quite the genius. However, may be able to enhance it, if you care to, that is. Definitely. I even already have some plans I've been working on. Where do we start? Near this camp, there should be ample materials quite literally just lying around. Yeah, I saw them. Now, if you bring me, say, five loose parts and 200 scrap, I believe I could augment the device in no time. And why don't you also hand off these plans of yours? I shall incorporate them in. Really? Cool, I'm on it. Alright, well, we're gonna save before we do that. Uh, that's it? We brush ourselves off and the game saves? Okay. So no manual saves for us, but the game is saved. So yeah, this is really, really cool so far. I'm excited to play this. I'm glad I, I'm glad I decided on uh, playing this. Um, I basically, it, it was all in Game Pass, so that's basically what made me choose it. Although it was more sold on it than a lot of the other games coming out right now. But I'm very happy with my decision. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of The Wild at Hearts, and I'll see you next time.